now it's time to shape the neck itself. What I want is I want a sixteenth of an inch drop from the heel of the neck to the first fret. So what I did was I marked that angle, that ramp, if you want to call it that, on the sides of the neck. And I'll just start here at the first fret with rasps and files. And cut that into the neck so that it's at the right thickness and the right taper. Uh, the file that I'm using, or the rasp rather, that I'm using right now is a farrier's rasp. It's a fantastic woodworking tool in my opinion. I love it because it's big and flat. It's just a big flat surface and for doing something like this, the wider it is, the flatter you're going to be able to keep it. And it rips wood away pretty good. But I will come back with uh, flat sanding blocks and uh, straight edges and all to get this back of this neck absolutely straight and flat so that the taper is correct and it's all of it's flat and level. But it's just a matter of hogging the wood away until you get the thickness you want in the uh, positions of the neck that you want. So. And then I'll take rasps and files and basically create a number of facets on the back of the neck that I'll eventually turn into a smooth rounded surface. You see there's a line down the center that I've redrawn after I thickened it. What I'll do is I'll stay away from that center line and what that'll do is it will allow me to maintain the thickness where I want it without actually taking too much wood off of the back of the neck until I get the final sanding and for final shaping and sanding then that will go away. But right now it's just a matter of hogging as much wood as you can as quick as you can off of the neck to uh, create the facets and this maple is hard stuff but uh, I absolutely love maple for a neck. And now I switch to that big farrier's wrap. And now I'm, in, I'm using a file because it cuts smoother and it smooths the area a bit more. And it's just, I'll bounce back and forth between the different rasps and files. You see me checking with my hands uh, because uh, I can feel the unevenness, uh, dips and bumps and all of that. And I'm trying to uh, show you areas where my body's not in the way, so I'm skipping through a lot. Now you see me working on, I use a volute at the end of the headstock on the back of the neck. It's just kind of like a little nub of wood that sticks up in, uh, you know, in tradition, no guitars, it kind of strengthens it and uh, in that spot. And I think even if it's just a little bit thicker in that area, it does create a bit more strength. So that's why I use the volume. And it will, I've got a preliminary shape for it marked out, but that shape can change. It just depends on, kind of almost like my whimsy. I will, uh, alter that shape a lot 
you know, for no other reason than it suits my fancy. And this one started out as sort of a rounded volute and it uh, changed into a bit different shape, a lot different shape. That's all right, that's when I started cutting it, I thought, well, uh, actually, let's try this shape instead. That kind of thing. And I, I do that a lot of times in a lot of different uh, areas. And sometimes it works out really well, and sometimes it bites me in the rear end. Just depends. But I have a tendency to get in the middle of something and go, well, let's try this instead. And this is a preliminary shaping. It, it'll be about 90% done. But, I mean, I'll fine tune it and uh, shape it a bit more, smooth it out, even it out, that kind of thing. As I move on to higher grits, uh, preparatory to finish work. And you'll see there's about an eighth of an inch from the face of the top of the neck like that I do not do anything to because I want to also it's like that line that goes down the middle of the back of the neck uh, I, that eighth of an inch that I don't do anything to keeps the neck from being uh, narrowed and then I'll go back with this is 60 grit paper to shape the back of the neck wrap it around there like that and it, it, that helps me to get that rounded shape that I'm looking for and a smooth transition. So. Again with the hands, feeling as I go. And if I have to, I'll go back with a rasp in certain areas if I feel any irregularities. And there's the mostly finished product. I think it came out really nicely. I appreciate you watching. Bless you. And I'll talk to you later.